Despite being new to Winnipeg, nonprofit Sleep in Heavenly Peace has already made a difference for many local families. This year, it's delivered 43 beds to children in need, and that number will only grow thanks to a major boost from a local school. Chapter President Jim Thiessen is here now to talk about how he started the Winnipeg chapter and its impact on the community. Jim, thank you so much for joining me. Well, no, my pleasure, believe me. So let's just dive in. What exactly is Sleep in Heavenly Peace, and why did you start a chapter in Winnipeg? But back in April of 2019, I first learned about the uh, organization, and I began to do some investigation on my on my own to see if I would be interested in, in starting a chapter here because it seemed to fit with uh, things that I wanted to do with my life uh, once I retired. And so um, it was an organization I determined was uh, fit exactly what my uh, aspirations were and what I wanted to do. And so I uh, began a chapter in um, January here in Winnipeg. I announced uh, the chapter at that time. And essentially what it is, is it's an organization that builds and uh, provides handmade beds, twin-sized beds, uh, to children in need, children who do not have a bed to sleep on, between the ages of 3 to, and 17 years. It's incredibly heartwarming to see the effect that something as simple as a pillow has on a child, because this is sometimes the first thing that they've ever owned of their own now. This is now theirs, that they can call their own, and it's a pillow. But it, it has such an effect on a child. And so to be able to, to be that organization that gives your average individual the opportunity to do that, I think is, is incredibly important. A local school has kind of partnered with you guys and is helping you guys out. Can you talk a little bit about that too? Our basic function is to provide an opportunity for the, uh, volunteers in the community to come out on a specific day and take part in what we call a build event. And it's at that event where they actually take a hand hands-on role in building the, the bed components for a bed. But we were also trying to think, how would we uh, grow the organization beyond that scope? And we came up with the idea of involving students in, in a high school because we believe that it's never too, you're never too young or it's never too early to, to teach the joy of, of giving back to, to your community and helping somebody that's uh, in, a, in, a, in a more disadvantaged position than you are, perhaps. So we approached a number of these schools with this idea, and uh, teachers at Tech Voc, uh, were the first to jump on board uh, wholeheartedly, almost immediately, in fact, uh, and, uh, and express their interest in taking part. And since that time, um, we were uh, fortunate enough to uh, be the successful recipients of a, a grant. Uh, that grant uh, has allowed us to purchase the materials that we are now providing to Tech Walk, where their students will build 150 beds for Sleep in Heavenly Peace. So it's a huge opportunity for us, especially right now with everything closed down, our operations closed down. In a matter of about uh, four or five months, we were able to build 88 beds, but they are going to build 150 for us in a, in a short period of time, during a period of time when we won't be able to do anything anyway. So it's, a, it's an enormous boost for our organization. Thank you.